feels like I dumped a pound of baby powder on my lips and that my soul is being sucked uh, dry. So, um... Love bugs. Dina Jolie here, aka Siren Bella says, I want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I will be comparing the contents of my BoxyCharm and Ipsy bag subscription. I want to thank you again for coming back to visit me. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to click that button before you go. And if you haven't already come to see me on Instagram, you can find me at SirenBella underscore says. If you are a makeup collector and lover like me, you know the feeling of going to the mailbox once a month and opening it to see this bright pink foil packaging and this sturdy black heavy box. The Ipsy subscription will cost you $10 a month, the BoxyCharm $21 a month. They can be canceled at any time and restarted at any time. Each box contains a pamphlet with a specific theme. Um, Ipsy's theme is Swoon So Hard and BoxyCharms is Afterglow. You are going to receive five products in either one. BoxyCharm includes full-sized products, Ipsy sample size. So that's something to think about and obviously the price reflects that difference. I've been a subscriber now. I think this is my fourth month. Um, I haven't quite drawn an opinion of whether I like one more than the other, but so far it's something that I look forward to. I think it's fun to be able to sort of non-committally uh, play with uh, brands that you might not otherwise either have access to or know about or necessarily be interested in. I have already touched and played with 99% of the products. Um, everything that I have on my face is either from either of the packages or wet and wild. Um, I have not touched up my lip because I wanted to see how the lip products played and upon closer inspection, I noticed that it is in fact feathering and I wanted you to see that. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna dive um, right on in. So we're gonna start with the Boxy Charm. Um, when you open her up, you get, you know, every month there's a theme. This month's theme is Afterglow. Five products were included. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump her out. Everything is very securely packaged. You get this nice little spongy um, material that keeps everything tightly in place. All right, sort of in the order that I would apply. The first thing I saw that excited me so much was the No Pore Blum Primer. Um, this is a primer that one of my favorite YouTubers, Jessica Braun, uses. I've been very, very interested. This is in fact a full size. Uh, the retail price is $18. And let's see what it says. It says it's light, silky texture, blurs pores and wrinkles, giving you a soft velvet feel. I do agree with that claim. It has green tea and collagen, which act as adhesives. Interesting. Holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. Again, I did apply this underneath my base. First thing I noticed, again, it is super silky. I highly recommend that you allow it to sit for a minimum of five to 10 minutes before you go on in because it does take a moment for it to kind of get settled. I didn't notice any weird film or any color. It didn't interact with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in a weird way. I do think it did a great job of blurring my pores. Would I replace my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer? Absolutely not. However, I feel like this is a primer that you could use in conjunction with uh, your other favorite primers. All right, moving along. This product I was super excited about is this pretty vulgar shimmering swan highlighter. I don't have a lot of luck with highlighters. Because of my textured skin, I find that it tends to accentuate and I have a really difficult time finding the right tone. They tend to be um, either like too, too pale or way too golden. Um, but this one, she was just right. Um, aside from the fact that the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, uh, you open her up and you've got this just beautiful, I don't know how you'd describe it, sort of a, an iridescent, uh, pinky. It's not a glittery highlight. I do have it on my face right now. I'm not sure how it's conveying. I used a, a bigger, fluffier brush and I applied it um, all along the high points. I applied it on my forehead. What I did actually was when I was staring away mirror, there's a light immediately over top of me and wherever the light was naturally bouncing off my face, I just went ahead and brushed this highlighter on. 
Um, see if I can get a little swatch. Again, it's got a pinky shift to it. It blends so easily. It's almost creamy when you blend it in. I recommend that you go in with a damp sponge and kind of press it into the skin. But I, I'm, I'm super happy and I look forward to playing with this Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan Highlighter. Retails for $32. All right, uh, the next product I'm gonna talk about is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara for $24. Um, it's, it claims to separate a uh, coat and curl. Um, there's some kind of Asashia Senegal tree extract, which is supposed to um, add volume and polymers that lock your lashes in a perfect cur curl. Now, um, if you've been watching YouTube beauty videos for a while, you know that this is a cult favorite. Unfortunately, it's not my favorite. I did purchase it uh, many uh, moons ago, and I, it just doesn't do much for my short, sparse lashes. I like my mascara to go in immediately and to thicken and to lift, and um, my eyes do water, so uh, being a waterproof uh, formula is very, very important to me. And immediately when my eyes started watering, this one just started uh, bleeding. It's a beautiful, beautiful package. You open her up, it's got this very unique wand, kind of um, thicker up top, kind of like an hourglass uh, figure. I don't find that it really grips my lashes. Um, I did like it as a bottom lash mascara, but again, because I do have very watery eyes, um, unless I were to purchase the waterproof version, um, this would be a no-go. Um, what I didn't mention is that I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on the right side, and I uh, went in with it, another mascara on the left. I was so stoked to find this Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Um, it retails for $22. I am a huge fan of Pharmacy um, skincare products. I am literally one scoop away from finishing my, my cleansing balm absolutely going to repurchase it. Uh, so there are um, 100 mils or 3.4 fluid ounces. Um, I did use it to cleanse my face this morning. It says that it's gonna wash away your surface oil and your pollution residue. Um, and it does have hyaluronic acid and honey. If you do have a honey allergy, something to note, this might not be the product for you. Last but not least is the Tristeek Let's see what they call her. The Tristeek Prime and Glaze Lip Crayon. It, they say it's a two-in-one lip duo. Um, on one side, you've got this magnetized um, balm. On the other side, I mean, the packaging is super cute. It looks like a little pencil. And then you've got this very uniquely shaped, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a rectangle with a curve. Um, Let's see what else it says. It says it creates a super smooth canvas. The color glaze effortlessly glides onto your lips to leave behind a pop of soft, shiny color. I agree with those claims. It's definitely soft. It definitely adds a balmy sheen to your lips. Um, if you're into moisturizing lip products, I think that you would enjoy this. Um, there is nothing opaque. You're not gonna overdo this. If you like lip balms, if you like sort of a no fuss, sheerer lip uh, product, then this might be your jam. I think that there were a lot of winners. Um, I'm definitely stoked, again, about the primer. I'm stoked about the cleanser and about the uh, the highlighter. Um, I will be gifting this mascara to my little sister, and I think that my mom might actually enjoy this Tristeek balm, but um, um, again, not my favorites. Um, when you open her up, the cool thing about the Ipsy a subscription is that you get a super cute bag with, I mean, you figure 12 months, 12 makeup bags, do you really need that many? Not particularly. You're gonna get a cool insert. This month's is Swoon So Hard. All right, so this month's Ipsy. You open up the bag and all the contents do come in your cute little bag. All right, the first one listed on the on the pamphlet is Pixie by Petra Glow Tonic. My sister has already tried to dip her hands. Um, she was super psyched to see that I, I don't own any Pixie products, skincare nor uh, makeup. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. Again, this is a sample size, by no means a, a, a full size. There's 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 mils, and it's described as an exfoliating toner. I did not use this today. Um, it has 5% glycolic acid, which as you know is great 
a great skin exfoliant. It's going to help remove the dead skin cells, cells, perhaps any sun damage or envi environmental damage. It says to use morning and night as needed. I definitely recommend if you don't use any sort of glycolic acid on your skin that you start maybe by once a day, seeing how your skin tolerates it. Make sure that you're going in with an SPF as well because your skin can become uh, more sensitive. A Koki Cosmetics um, concealer was included in this month's bag. It's called the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I'm all about um, illuminating dewy concealers. Uh, Flower Beauty makes a concealer that I love. The um, I believe it's the Light Illusion. This reminded me a lot of the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. This was in the shade Medium Beige, which I was super stoked about. Um, aside from the packaging being absolutely gorgeous, you open her up, you've got your standard doe foot applicator, and it's just a very creamy, just a universal concealer. I did use it, I layered it over the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer, and I'm, I'm pleased, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. I was also pleased to see that there was an Ico Lash Alert Mascara, you get this adorable baby package. You open her up. My favorite type of wand, because I don't have very curled lashes naturally, you've got this adorable applicator. I'm gonna tell you now, um, I applied it to the left eye as compared to the Better Than Sex Mascara. The um, Ico Mascara hands down wins the <laughs> yes, Lena, it wins. Um, I love the shape of the brush. I love how my lashes just gripped um, the wand. I love the formula. I love that it's uh, blackening. I love that it's lengthening, and I love that it's curling. It's the trifecta that I need for my lashes. When my eyes started to water upon first application, the Ico mascara did not budge, which again is something that I need for my super watery eyes. So let Ico tell it with prolonged use, um, your eyelashes are gonna improve. All right, next we have a Luxie Beauty Precision Blending Eye Brush number 243. I love Luxie brushes. I cannot get enough. The quality is, you know, is beautiful. The, the brushes are soft. They do a great job blending. Um, every time I've received a Luxie brush in one of my subscription boxes, um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm over the moon. I can't say enough. I haven't cracked her open yet, but this actually reminds me of one of the um the morphe like one of the the baby blending brushes you know it's domed it's smaller than your traditional uh crease brushes and it's this beautiful uh sort of baby pink and last but not least um if you've been with me for a while you know that i love liquid lipsticks this is the loritzi cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick you open her up it's this gorgeous mauve brownish pinky color standard doe foot. I do have it on right now layered over the um, Tristique. I think that was my first mistake because um, most liquid lipsticks don't play well over anything balmy or over other formulas. You should really just go in either over a liner or just with clean lips. So as you can see, it is feathering, but I love the opacity. I love the shade. I love the feel when it dries down. I'm going to go in and clean this up and see if I can fix this butthole lip. Yeah, I failed. I'm going to have to wipe this off and start from scratch. All right, fam, I'm back. I wiped off um, the Loritzi lippy, went back in. Um, I have to say that I have changed my mind. Um, this formula is extremely drying on its own. It feels like I dumped a pound of baby powder on my lips and that my soul is being sucked uh, dry. So um, normally what I would do is go over it with a gloss, but um, again, my fear is that once you add anything hydrating over top, it's gonna start bleeding from the inside out. So sadly, I am going to have to pass on this Loritzi lippy. If I were to ask myself um, if there's a winner between the Ipsy and the BoxyCharm, I have to say it's an even tie. The Ipsy bag, I well, what I'm most pleased about is the um, the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer by Koki. Um, I'm you know thrilled with the Luxie Beauty Blending Brush and the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I'm sure I'm gonna love the Pixie by Petra Glow Tonic. Um, if I don't love it, someone in this house is gonna love it. And again, with the Boxy Charm, I was thrilled with the Pretty Vulgar um, Highlighter, the Touch and Soul Nor Pore Bloom Primer. 
and the uh, Pharmacy Clean Bee Facial Cleanser. And I love Lippy so much, so I'm kind of sad that these two were duds, um, but I think I'll get some use out of the Trace Stick again because of this balm, which I'm gonna slather on my lips right now because, oh my God, oh my God. That's so unbelievably dry. Yeah, so I wanna thank you for coming back to see me. Um, I hope that this video finds you in fantastic spirits and um, I don't know, surrounded by people that you love. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to click that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I upload, which I'm striving for about five videos a week. I think that's gonna be, no, too many, four? Okay, she says four. Um, anywhere between four to five, maybe we'll throw a bonus in there. And yeah, um, I will see you soon. I love you guys, bye-bye.